I'm Lynn. Welcome to Lynn's Real Cooking. Today I'm going to show you how to make roti, which is Indian bread. I put this on the blog a few days ago, so those of you who would like to see the recipe, you can go there to lynnsrealcooking.com. Right now I'm going to show you a few of the steps so that it makes it easier for you to do it. And this is a really simple recipe. You can use a mixer like this with a dough hook, or you can put it in a bowl and just do it with your hands, by hand. But I like to use my mixer now with my dough hook. So basically what we're going to put in, three cups of flour, one-eighth a cup of olive oil, one cup of water, one tablespoon of baking powder, and one teaspoon of salt. It's a really easy recipe and a nice alternative to Arabic bread or pocket bread, which is really difficult and takes all day. So I've kind of moved to doing this now. So we put it all in the mixer, we let it go, and I've pre-done this so that we can get moving on it. I have my dough right here. I put it in there and mixed it all together, and then I kneaded it for a few minutes. I put it in this bowl, I covered it, and I let it rest for about 30 minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to roll the balls. This is what you do in Arabic bread, and I like to do this in roti, and I feel that's kind of an important step. So I'm going to pinch off some of the dough, and it depends uh, how much, how many balls you want, how big you want the bread, or how small. You can just kind of learn that on your own. But here's how big my ball is, and what we're going to do is a tucking motion. So we just kind of pull and tuck. And that's how we do Arabic bread as well. And we put it down. I'll do one more just to show you. It's not too complicated. We'll just pinch off as much as we want. And then we're going to do this motion of kind of pulling it and tucking it, pulling it and tucking it. And we're going to put it here on a work surface. We're going to cover it. And we're going to leave it there, again, resting for like 20, 30 minutes. So I already did these. And I'm going to show you how to roll one. We'll just do a little bit of rolling here. We're going to put it on our work surface. We shouldn't need any flour because I feel that this texture is really good. It's not sticky, but it's not too dry. I think those measurements I found are really accurate and they make a really nice dough. So we're going to put it here and we're going to just start rolling. Rolling is a really important part of making Arabic bread or any Middle Eastern type of bread, roti, anything like that. I like to roll it really thin until it gets kind of bubbly keep working with it. And then we're not going to let it rest or anything. We're going to go over to our pan and we put a little bit of olive oil lightly brushed on the pan. So you can see it's kind of bubbling there a little bit and I like that. And that's what I feel makes it work. So we're going to leave that there. I'm going to come over here. I've already put a piece in here and the pan was on it was like a medium, medium to medium high. We brushed it with a little olive oil. We've got it in here. You see it bubbling. This is a smaller piece, a little bit thicker. I'm going to turn it over. As you can see, there we go. Uh, you're going to leave it in there for a couple of minutes. You just kind of have to gauge that. You don't want it too hot so that it just gets burnt and doesn't get cooked. But it's really easily cooked. Um, here we've got a couple of pieces here that we just took out. They are just wonderful when they're warm. And you can see... We kind of have some nice layers in here. Wonderful with curry or with any kind of sauce. We'll keep this one going. As I said, you can experiment and uh, try different things, making them bigger, smaller. This batch makes about six to eight bread. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, this is Lynn saying bye. Keep it